In this Blender tutorial, we will prepare a mesh for sculpting and provide an overview of sculpt mode. To begin sculpting, we need to prepare a mesh. I'm selecting a sphere, but any shape will work. I'm going to apply a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of subdivisions so that there are more vertices and faces for the brushes to work with. This is a fine balance. We don't want to increase the number of subdivisions too intensely as that will increase the size of the model and cause lag when sculpting. Make sure you actually apply the modifier, making it permanent, before entering sculpt mode. To review this, go back to the modifier panel, click the drop down, and then select apply. To enter sculpt mode, tap the modes tab and select sculpt mode. Also tap the Sculpting tab at the top of the window to enter the Sculpting viewport. This allows for more control over brush details. Brushes are located on the left side of the window. Expand the Brush tab to see the names of the brushes. To begin sculpting, select a brush. I'm choosing the Draw brush. Then left click and drag your cursor over the object. If you can't see the brush preview in the properties panel, make sure you're in the sculpting viewport and that the active tools tab is selected. There are brush settings located along the top of the viewport and in the properties panel. You can use the sliders to alter aspects like the radius, strength, and outward or inward effect of the brush. There are also brush modification shortcuts. To adjust the radius, tap the F key, drag your cursor, and left click to secure the new brush size. To adjust the strength, hold Shift F, drag the cursor, left click to secure. To swap between outward and inward directions, hold the shift key while clicking and dragging. You can also mirror the sculpting actions on an axis by turning on symmetry. Select the axis you want to mirror on. Note the appearance of this extra dot. This is the location of the mirrored brush. Brushes are divided into three main categories, as demonstrated in the following clips. Blue brushes are for adding and subtracting volume. Red brushes increase or decrease contrast. Yellow brushes are used for grabbing the mesh. The next tutorial will introduce materials and textures in Blender.